So I'm going to start with the most important one. And the thing is, I know the answer to this. And I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. How did you get the name Panchero? Oh, right. <laughs> Panchero. Um, me and Liam, who I do the Living With Mainly podcast with, Nostalgic TV podcast. Check it out if you... I love it. Age between 30 to 40. <laughs> check it out anyway. Um, and we wrote, we used to write scripts and stuff, and they always got rejected at the final hurdle, which I'm sure you all sort of know about. You know, mm. you've wrote books and things like that. And then um, one of the characters in it had a, an alter ego. Hard to explain. I'm not going to go too boring. Call Panchero. So I joined Twitter, not really knowing what it was. And I thought, well, I can't think of it. A Panchero. Let's buy not. And that's it. It's as simple as that. It's a poor story. It's a bad start to the pod. <laughs> There's an additional bit to the story in America. Oh, yeah. Well, the problem is now is that there's a an American restaurant, Mexican restaurant in America, uh, called Panchero's. And they often tweet me saying, terrible service last night at Panchero's. What are you going to do about it? And I'm ashamed to say that I respond as if I am the restaurant Panchero. So this is punters that will think they're tweeting Panchero's yeah. Mexican restaurant yeah. and you will and respond as if you are the restaurant. Yeah, I'll say, get what you give. Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> and stuff like that. Mm. And yeah, so I probably, they might have gone out of business. I've not had one for about a year, so I might have drove them out of business, unfortunately. But... <sighs> Can you not do them in a Yorkshire way? They... <laughs> now then. <laughs> now then. <laughs> See they what's right. they on about they yeah they have the awata <laughs> and that's that <laughs> that would be great uh now on the s24su you're known as roy biv i uh, mm. i mean it's just so confusing is this where the name roy came from this is it i was joined up to the now long forgotten blades mad i was a big um, fan of that you were on the your blade yeah. yeah i was a bit of a legend yeah. on there i mean not to blow me on trumpet but yeah you know. Pre-fame Hal. <laughs> um, and, and I were, uh, yeah, and I and I joined up because I had some uh, gossip. And I don't, I'm not in the know at all, as you know yourself, Hal. But someone told me we were signing a certain player. And I thought, I've got to tell everyone on Blades Mad this. So I joined up and I was listening to a song by Boards of Canada called Roy Biv at the time. So I thought, well, I'm not going to stay around. You know, I'm not, I'm not one of these idiots who stay on forums. Call myself Roy Biv. The news was that we were signing Louis Nyatanga, which never happened. So my first post on Blades Mad were a lie. Um, but I obviously had the username by that point, so I kept posting under the name Roy Biv instead of setting up a new account. You wouldn't survive that in the world of social media now. Oh, if you, get, you get one thing wrong and you're you're an in the knower. That's it. It's over. I, I mean, yeah, there's like some guy like and he'll put something, you know, and everything will be right. But then he say, "Hang on, I've just found this post from 2004 mm. where he said Billy Sharp were coming back, and it were actually 2006 or whatever." It is. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you've admitted to that. Uh, the man is a liar and a charlatan and a fraud. Yeah, and it, 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 indeed, it began like that. Uh, yeah. But but realistically, it was it was only going to get better from there. Uh, yeah. When did you start the view from? So. What I used to do, you probably like every other United fan, because obviously we've been in the second tier most of our lifetimes, uh, mine and yours. Um, and what you used to do after, or I did anyway, after every game that we won, you'd buy all the papers the day after. To try, and all you get is this one paragraph mm. of Sheffield United won today by with goals from, and that made you thinking. So I got into the habit of going onto the opposition forums just to try and, because obviously away games, it's not like now where you can get a brilliant VPN from your... Uh, yeah, from one of your sponsors. Um, but it's not like that nowadays with that. It, it, you, you couldn't stream any games. You were relying on Radio Sheffield, who were understandably biased towards United. And I always wanted to get a, a fair reflection of where we were at and a fair reflection of the match. So I started collecting all these uh, quotes just, just for myself. And just thinking, oh, yeah, so that, that. And I found that on Blades Mad, I would comment in saying, well, the Watford fans actually say this and blah, 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 they say this. And then it was the first Danny Wilson season. So are we talking 2000 and... Ooh, 12? I'm not a numbers guy. I'm not a numbers guy, but I uh, think it's that. 2011, 2012, round there. It was the Oldham game, the first game of the season. And I have to admit, it was because they were all praising us that much, saying, you know, fantastic to have such a big support at our ground and all this mm. sort of stuff. And I thought, our fans are like this. So I just copy and pasted all the quotes and just said, view from Oldham, here we go. And it just went from there, and I carried it on all that season, other than the time when we lost to Wednesday where I can't face it that season yeah. uh, and the final day um, again. So I even did the view from Huddersfield after that, that season. Oh. And then more people were asking, I, I joined S2 when Blades Mad just became a pit of whatever it is now, despair of adverts. <laughs> and 
I joined S2 and I used to copy and paste it on there and copy and paste it on there. And then someone who I work with said, oh, I'm not on any of those things. Can you do it on Facebook? And I thought, I may as well just set up a blog today, rather than copying and pasting it in all yeah, these different yeah, yeah. things. So that's how it started, really. Brilliant. Okay. I love views from the opposition. It was something that I was tasked with uh, when we started, Nick and I, doing Chef United Way together. I used to do the uh, view from the opposition fans uh, mm. before each game, but um, no one watched it, so I sucked it <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was too much like hard work. Um, yeah. Where, what's been the hardest forum to get views from? If it, I've been asked this a couple of times, and I always say Yeovil. I remember, vividly remember, 2 a.m., I was working the next day at like nine or whatever, 2 a.m., trying to get enough quotes together to make a Yeovil pre-match view from. Because they didn't have a forum at the time. I were on the Facebook group. And another one that was really hard to do was about three, four years ago, Millwall, because their forum got taken down due to her um, unsavoury comments. I remember this. Yeah, and I had to listen to a couple of Millwall podcasts Ooh. to get, yeah. To some get opinions. Some genuine opinions, yeah. So I had to, So they were the hard, they're the ones that stick out, the Millwall one in particular. And we drew, with this promotion season, when we drew 1-1, um, and obviously it looked like we'd blown promotion, and I didn't even bother getting a view from for that one because I was too depressed, and I didn't want to listen to a Millwall fan saying, how good were that, last-minute goal, and all this sort of stuff, so, yeah. What's your favourite non-Blades forum? Oh, that's a great question. Um, the Tottenham forum is hilarious. Is it? They're so negative. Yeah, <laughs> it's I unbelievable. Imagine. And if anyone wants to go back and go on, you know, roysviewfrom.com, type in Spurs on the search engine, and you'll see, particularly from the League Cup game, where obviously they beat us over two mm. but they only just beat us. They were furious, but there was some unbelievable, which I can't say on this channel, because a lot of it foul language and stuff, but there's some absolute gold comments. And whenever we play Spurs, I genuinely I think, here we go, this will be good. Even when they beat us 4-0, I thought, they, even then they weren't happy. <laughs> I can believe that. I mean, they feel like they've been through the mill and that's because their expectations are probably ridiculously high. Yeah, They want to win the Premier League and the kind of things we're dealing with as Sheffield United fans. I would love to see Tottenham fans have had the seasons we had in League One. They would, yeah. They'd have exploded. Well, it's all relative because I it is all relative. Besides the opposition fans saying Sheffield United fans moaning in the third in League One, <laughs> and like to yeah. us, that's like that's terrible. But terrible. To them, they'd love to be in that position. You're right. It is all relative. Absolutely spot on. How many times that you can remember have you created a view from for a signing that was never ever seen by the light of day? I think it's about twelve times. The worst oh. one being uh, Neil Morpé. Hmm. Um, because that looked like it was going to happen for so long, and I thought I'd get the... And I was excited by that signing, and I did want him above McBurn, I have to admit. Um, and I had that, and I was ready to go with that. There were Cameron Stewart. Remember Cameron Stewart? Yeah, yeah. Player. I was kind of hoping uh, we'd sign him, because then I finally could get Stewart on the back of the shirt. That's a fan... I never even thought of that, yeah. Because mm. yeah, I've that, got that Stewart true. on the back of my shirt, and people think it's Jordan. No, yeah, mm. that's not great. So it? I wanted a good Stewart. So I'm kind of hoping we'll sign Ross Stewart from Sunderland at some point. That's a, yeah, yeah. Or you could say you're a massive Rod Stewart fan and get a picture of the year. Uh, yeah. Yes, slightly <laughs> weird. Do you think yeah. you could see fans walking around Bramall Lane with like Meatloaf, Bon Jovi, you know, their favourite I, band or artist? On the I think we've stumbled upon a fantastic marketing idea. We've, stum we've started yeah. something. Yeah, yeah. I think that's it. Just and instead of the. With, the badge on the side of the league, the face, the you know, the face of, of Cher. Yeah. You know, or yeah, whoever. yeah, that's really your number 10, Celine Dion. And like, oh. you know what I mean? Like on the bike, fantastic. My wife would like um, that. Sorry, what was the question again? I forgot. <laughs> it was, how many times have you created a view from? Yeah, there's, there's quite a few players. Um, it's not as bad nowadays because they normally get confirmed before they're confirmed, if you know what I mean. They, they, I've said nothing. Confirmed. What are you talking? Not you oh, personally, right. but that you have helped out on a couple of occasions. I must admit, you've already spoken a little bit about instances you can remember of not doing a view from, and I think people mm -hmm. would forgive you uh, as well. Uh, any grief you've encountered for doing views from? Oh yeah, Coventry hate me. Um, they hate me too. I think I'm single-handedly responsible for starting that weird mini rivalry that we've got because obviously with all the stuff that happened with the tennis balls and the and the game on the pitch, and everyone knows what I'm talking about. I think when the League One promotion season. Uh, when Sharp got two and he invaded the pitch and he got stopped for 10 minutes, players had to go off and come back on. 
I did the view from after that where they slated us, and I think it was from that the touch paper was lit. Mm. And I think from then on, yeah, they hate us um, on their online presence. There might be fans watching this who would say, what are you talking about? I don't go on that forum. But on their forum, they really don't like us. A Barnsley fan said, how dare you come on our forum taking comments without permission? <laughs> Which I found quite funny. Uh, and he, he described uh, my blog as a, a fly on a turd style blog. So he wasn't happy. Um, Still, you, you come off better that than the, you're the fly, I assume. Well, I don't know what he And their forum would be the turd and you're the... You... You've landed yeah, on it. That's it. I've landed on it. I've taken one. I've taken the nutrients from it, and I'm off, and I'm posting it <laughs> elsewhere. Um, and a Forest fan who they, Forest are the only team. Forest and MK Dons are the only te- two teams I've seen who do this at religiously, like I do. You get the opposition views every week. And a Forest fan that claimed that I wasn't as professional as him because uh, I only picked out the, apparently the bad comments. But, but you don't. But the thing is, I don't. You and don't. the Coventry fans last week were saying. Oh, he's just picking comments out to wind us up. So I posted the full thread. There is nothing on there <laughs> positive. <laughs> so I don't know what they're talking about. But, uh... So you lit the torch paper and you had me go in, not knowing this, doing my mm. first vlog at Coventry. And you oh, might yeah. you might mm. recall the grief uh, mm. that I got from my first blog from Cough fans because they thought I said they're the Wasps Arena or something. Which you did, uh, didn't you? Which, which I think I may have made. I think I was yeah. like, oh, look, there's wasps. Because there's a big you know, badge on this. And I don't follow rugby at all. So I didn't no. have a clue <laughs> that yeah. I shared the stadium. Uh, so you would comment on that, naturally, if you saw it. Yeah. Uh, but there we go. Cov fans. They won't yeah. be watching this. <laughs> but, yeah, so, and obviously one of them said that I live under a little bridge. There which I still don't really understand that comment. I don't know if he was saying, I don't know if it were a jibe about saying I'm homeless or... But I don't know what it means. What a it... troll. Ah, oh, I never see. They're a, they're a, they're a, they're a higher being than me, Coventry fans. Obviously, no, no. What it is is because I live in a realm where I get so much grief. You know I... all the criticisms. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm going to come to you next time. Someone says, "What's this mean, Hal?" Ha <laughs> Well, that means <laughs> I'll have been there, my friend. Don't you fear? <laughs> you want me to figure this one out? Yeah. 